Is this the worst Jordan brand collaboration of 2023? Would you rock them? <laughs> really? Or is it better than everyone thinks? Do you like it better than what you're wearing right now? Are you ready to see it? Here we go. Oh! Let's find out. You're still gonna sell out. It is finally here. I've been waiting for this shoe for like three weeks. I ordered the shoe on GOAT and uh, I'm gonna box it for you guys right now and then wear it for a couple days and then later on in the video, give you guys my full review. So like I said, I ordered this pair on GOAT, I believe for $461.50 shipped. There was no instant ship option, so I just went for the full like two week shipping deal. So I ordered these a while ago and uh, here's our first look at the box. This is a shoe that uh, you guys already know what they look like from the thumbnail and the title and all sort of good stuff, but I have not seen these yet. So I'm really excited to check these out. I've only seen images of these guys online. They don't release for like another month and a half, two months. These, of course, are the Union LA Air Jordan 1 Beffy Beauty Supplies. This is a shoe which has a pretty interesting story behind it. I'll get more into that later on in the video, but I really love the graphic treatment on the outside of the box. We've got the top, which says summer. It says 96, I believe, or is that 93? That's 96. The Jordan brand logo, the Beffy Beauty Supply logo, and of course, the Union Los Angeles logo right there. And then on the sides of the box, you've got what looks like some sort of New York apartment building. You've got the Union logo on one side of the box, and then the Beffy Beauty Supply logo on the other side of the box. Of course, you got the size tag. I grabbed a size eight and a half because they didn't have a size nine, and if they did, I think it was like $900. And in my head, I was like, for $500 cheaper, I could grab the same shoe, but a half size too small. Definitely could still fit it. Just gonna go with that one, so that's what I did. And then pop it over the box, we've got the moment of truth. Oh, pull up, because I don't do unboxings on a table. Things just fall out. We've got the uh, GOAT verified thing. We've got the GOAT sticker right here. And then the paper inside the box, you've got the same image that you have on the side of the box with the apartment complex right there. It says Jordan. We've got the same logos that you saw on the top of the box on the bottom of the box lid, which is kind of nice in this bright yellow color. And then popping open the paper, we got the first look. Here we go. Check them out. The Beffy Beauty Supply Union LA Air Jordan 1. One of the most anticipated sneaker releases of 2023. Not exactly sure what to call these, but um, they're definitely a shoe that a lot of people are waiting for, whether that's because they love the shoe or because they hate the shoe, I'm not really sure. But uh, I'm here to give you guys my thoughts on this sneaker, wear the shoe for a couple days and let you guys know what I think. So without further ado, let's go try these guys on and see if they fit. All right, so you're familiar with like regular Jordan ones, right? Like these? Yeah. So I'm gonna show you a weird one and you tell me what you think of it. Okay. Oh, that is weird. Right? Do you like it or do you not like it? I wanted to try these on because I haven't tried these on yet So I wanted to film me trying them on because obviously they are a little bit different than a standard Jordan one So I don't know if this like woven area is gonna change the fit of the shoe So what I did obviously because this is a size eight and a half I'm a size nine is I grabbed another pair of Air Jordan ones that I have in a size eight and a half the shattered backboards And I'm gonna compare the fit just to make sure that the fits the same all that sort of good stuff And also let you guys know generally whether these fit like standard Jordan ones or whether they're a little bit different because of that woven material Oh and actually I don't know if you guys noticed but I'm rocking the brand new apothecary neon collection This collection is absolutely fire It's now live on apothecary's website apthcry.com If you guys want to grab any of the four colorways that we dropped last Friday Make sure to click the link in the top of the description below Really quick we also just launched some dad hats which I've been wearing in a lot of videos If you guys want to grab them link in the description below they come in four different colorways Plus we're also now in Zoomies. So if you guys have been wanting to grab apothecary socks, but didn't want to grab them online You can actually now find them at your local zoomies, which is crazy I can't believe we're actually in zoomies. It's nuts If you guys want to grab a pair from zoomies make sure to tag us on Instagram at apothecary when you grab your pair We'd love to know where you picked it up I haven't really loosened up the laces as much as I probably should have so they might be a little bit tight coming on initially, but Sorry, we got a lot of birds. I mean, I guess fit wise like they feel they don't feel any different They do feel tighter than these guys But obviously these guys the laces are like completely loosened So they're not like any more comfortable or any less comfortable than a standard pair of Jordan ones The fit seems to be the same so I would say probably go true to size with your regular Air Jordan one size I was kind of hoping there'd be some extra breathability from this woven area But uh, it doesn't seem to be the case, but it still looks cool Like I, I mean if you like the way it looks you're gonna love this if you don't you don't and that's fair But compared to another pair of Jordan ones in a size eight and a half feels exactly the same. No noticeable differences. So, there you go. Go true to size or go with your standard Air Jordan 1 size and you should be totally fine. So I've been wearing these shoes for the last couple days and I've gotta say, I like them a lot more than I thought that I would. Now I never hated these shoes by any stretch of the imagination, but I never loved them. And now that I've worn them for the last couple days, while I don't love them, they're not my favorite Union LA Air Jordan 1 or even close to that, they're definitely up there for me. This is definitely one of the better collaborations of the year. However, I do understand why some people might not like this collaboration. It's new, it's different, it's trying something that maybe should or shouldn't have been tried on a pair of Air Jordan 1s. I don't know, that's up for you to decide, but this is a truly different take on the Air Jordan 1 and while I don't know if 
throwing a, a woven detail on the side of a Jordan 1 was necessary, it is definitely intriguing and I think that's why I'm so interested in this shoe because it's something that we've never seen before on this silhouette. But later on in the video we'll get some other people's opinions on this shoe and I'd also love to know your thoughts on this sneaker as we go throughout the review in the comment section down below. So as you all know this is the Air Jordan 1 Union LA Beffy Beauty Supply collaboration. It's a triple collaboration between Union LA, Beffy Beauty Supply, and Jordan brand. As of right now it looks like the release date for this shoe is August 11th, 2023 for a retail price of $200. However, because we're like two months out from the release of this shoe, it is possible that things could change as they often do with Jordan brand. Now, as I mentioned, this shoe is a triple collaboration. Two of the brands that are collaborating on this shoe you're probably already familiar with, one being Jordan brand and two being Union LA. But Beffy's Beauty Supply is a brand that, while it's been around for a long time and while it's very popular in its own right, it's not something that a lot of sneakerheads know about. Beffy's Beauty Supply was started by Beth Burkett, who's one of the co-founders of Union LA, and also the wife of Chris Gibbs, the other co-founder founder of Union LA. Not only that, but Beffy or Beth is also one of the judges on the HBO show The Hype. And obviously, because Beth is one of the co-founders of Union LA, she's been a part of all of the other Union LA Jordan brand collaborations. However, this one is a little bit different because it takes her brand, Beffy's Beauty Supply, and makes it one of the three collaborators. Now, obviously, this shoe is pretty different from any of the previous Union LA Air Jordan 1s. And I think for a lot of people, when they heard that there was another Union LA Jordan 1 high releasing, they expected just a different colorway of the originals. To be fair, that probably would have sold like crazy and would have been received a lot better than this pair is getting received at least before release but uh, it's not as exciting, it's not as different. At the time that the first Union LA collaboration released, the idea of stitching two shoes together was a pretty new and novel idea, but now, probably about five years after the initial release of this shoe, it's not as new anymore. So this time around, they decided to do something different, very different, although it is still kind of stitching one part of the shoe to the other part of the shoe. So in a way, it's the same. Now yes, the original Union LA Air Jordan 1 collaboration is one of my favorite collaborations of all time. In fact, I like the shoe so much, I proposed to my wife in the Storm Blue colorway of the shoe, and uh, it's one of those shoes that I don't think will ever be forgotten in terms of collaborations. In my opinion, it's one of the best collaborations of the last decade. Because, like I said, the original collaboration tried something different. They were doing something that had never been done before on a pair of Air Jordan 1s. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, initially I would have preferred getting a new colorway of these shoes, and I think even now, I still would have preferred getting a new colorway of this version of the shoe. I do have to admit, the newer version of the Union LA Air Jordan 1s is growing on me a little bit. I guess let's just start this thing off by talking about the elephant in the room. And that of course is the woven detail that wraps all the way around the entire outside of the shoe. So this detail is, is different. It's not something that I think anyone would have expected or even asked for on a pair of Air Jordan 1s. Now this is not the first time we've seen this detail on a recent collaboration. In fact, we just saw this done on a pair of Sakai's. However, it's new for a pair of Jordan 1s. And eagle-eyed viewers might recognize this detail from the original Nike Footscapes. And I'll be honest, the fact that this detail showed up on two collaborations within like a year of each other, the Sakai's and these, it really makes me think that Nike is starting to push the Footscapes, like they're gonna bring them back or something like that. I wonder if this is a detail that Nike just said to Chris and Beth, hey, can you use this? You don't really have a choice, you gotta use this detail, or if it was something that they were like, we'd love to use the woven detail, Nike, can we do that because we see that the wovens are coming back. I have no idea which one it is, or it could have been neither, but either way, I think it's an interesting detail and it doesn't take away from the silhouette. It's different and it's definitely the reason why a lot of people don't like this collaboration, but it doesn't ruin the shoe for me. It's not something I love, I wouldn't have put it on there myself, but at the same time, it's very different than any other Jordan 1 that we've seen in a while, and I think for a lot of people, that might be what draws them to this shoe. It's super polarizing. If you like it, let me know in the comment section down below. If you don't like it, let me know in the comment section down below, but either way, it's there. The shoe's probably gonna sell out regardless, so it doesn't really matter what we think. So like I said, this woven detail wraps all the way around the upper of the shoe. It comes in this sort of cream color, and it's made up of this sort of knit or woven material. It's kind of funny that they made a, a woven detail out of a woven material. I thought that was kind of ironic, but either way, it follows the same sort of shape that the original Nike Footscape had, at least for this detail. And it probably has been adjusted a little bit to more closely fit the shape of the Air Jordan 1, especially following the lines of the swoosh. And as you guys saw in the try-on portion of this video, it doesn't actually change the fit of the shoe. In fact, on the inside of the shoe, you don't even realize that that detail is there because the shoe has its standard padding and regular backing. I was kind of hoping that it would make the shoe a little bit more breathable, but unfortunately it doesn't. It really doesn't make much of a difference at all, at least from what I can tell, while wearing the shoe. But moving up on the shoe, you get to this very thin, white tumbled leather mudguard because most of the mudguard is actually taken up by this woven detail. This white tumbled leather is the same leather used on the rest of the upper of the shoe. And what's interesting about this leather is that they've actually made the sides of the leather bright yellow, which gives it this really cool sort of linear accent all the way around the sneaker. I think it's a really nice touch. I personally think if they had released this shoe without the woven detail, but still featured those yellow accents and the same colorway that they currently use, it would do very well. I think a lot of people would be into it, but 
they really decided to go a little crazy with the woven detail and that's the part that, that turned some people off. In the center of the toe, you've got more of that tumbled white leather, of course, with perforations. The leather quality is really not anything special. It's kind of your standard Jordan 1 leather. It's not softer or stiffer than any other pair. As you move up in the shoe, you really start to notice the bright yellow edges of the leather on either side of the tongue. I think it's such a nice touch. Of course, you've still got the eye stays and the standard leather in bright white. Weaving through the eye stays, you've got these white flat laces, or at least the bottom half of the laces are white, the top half are light gray. Very similar to what was done on the original Union LA Air Jordan 1s. So the laces were sort of dyed in two different colors. The top half on that shoe was in black, and the bottom half was in white. In this case, the bottom half is white, and the top half is light gray to match the light gray accents on the rest of the shoe. Now, one thing that's always kind of bothered me about these laces in particular is that because they're so thin, because they had to be dyed, they're very, very slick. Like, they untie so easily. It really pisses me off, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. But uh, it's just something you have to deal with when you want to wear a pair of Union LA Air Jordan 1s, unless you decide to switch out the laces. And that brings me to the extra laces that you get inside the box, which come in this little cardboard box. It's something that Jordan Brand has been doing a lot of recently to reduce their plastic waste, which I think is a nice detail. It's funny when you look at early images of these shoes, the laces all come in plastic baggies, which I don't know whether that means that they're fake or they were just samples or something like that, but either way, the retail pair comes with a cardboard box. And I actually really love the way that they went with yellow laces to really bring out the yellow edges of the leather. I think that's such a nice detail and it really ties the shoe together. And I always say that when I talk about laces, I hate that I do that, but it just comes out. Nothing I can do about it. Underneath the laces, the tongue comes in a white nylon that's very thin, so it kind of has a cream color because you can see through to the yellow foam underneath. And just like on the original Union LA Air Jordan 1s, the tongue, like the top half of the shoe, is actually split in half. And as I'm sure you've already noticed, the entire top half of the shoe is sewn together with this mint green stitching that carries all the way around the back half of the shoe and across the tongue. Oh, also one other detail that's a carryover from the original Union LA collaborations, you've got this raw foam tongue, so it allows you to really see what material makes up the tongue. I think it's a nice touch. It's something that was done on the off-white collaborations, and I've always liked it. I think it was originally done on the Nike Blazers back in the 70s, but it's a cool detail. I've always liked it. It's very popular right now, so it makes sense that they continue to do that on their collaborations. At the top of the tongue, you've got this gray tag with the Nike Air branding embroidered into it in bright white. And then moving inside the shoe, you've got this light gray mesh sock liner, and rounding off the inside of the shoe, you've got this mint color colored insole with the Nike Air branding printed on the heel in white. Moving back on the lateral side of the shoe, you've got more of that white leather on the midfoot panel. Of course, you've got that same sort of woven detail running right through the middle of the shoe. And then on top of all of that, you've got this light gray Nubuck Nike swoosh, which also features those yellow edges. Moving even farther back in the shoe on the lateral side, you've got the Union LA logo on this yellow tag, which you have on all of the other Union LA collaborations. And that is actually stitched into this white leather panel, which features a slightly oversized pressed in Air Jordan Wings logo in light gray. And then moving around to the heel of the shoe, you get to this tiny little cursive embroidered detail that says BBS, which of course stands for Beffy's Beauty Supply, which I think could be the only Beffy's Beauty Supply hit on the entire shoe, similar to the Union LA hit, which is only found on the lateral side of the shoe. Then moving down in the shoe, you get to this light cream colored midsole with matching stitching, and then moving to the bottom of the sneaker, you get to this slightly darker shade of cream on the outsole of the sneaker, which is a very subtle contrast, but it's there nonetheless, and the outsole actually matches this sort of woven detail really, really well. But now that we've taken a closer look at this sneaker, let's find out what other people people think of this shoe at the apothecary office. What do you think of these? Do you know what they are? The Union Jordan ones? Yeah. I don't love them. I mean, yeah. it doesn't compare to the last Jordan Union. Do you like it better than what you're wearing right now? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're okay. They're not, I mean, I don't think anything compared to the other Jordan ones. Yeah, Union fair enough. Do you like the colorway? Yeah, it's, it's definitely Seth colorway. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Compared to the other unions and also just in general, like would you rock them? Nah. Really? <laughs> like I, I, I'm just not a big fan of this. But like I really like the colors, like especially the lacing and the tongue. But yeah, like this is just a little too much for me. Wait, you wouldn't rock the other Jordan One unions? No, I would. Like the oh, black okay. one, like the original ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I love the uh, the blue ones. Oh yeah, the blue but, ones are my favorite. Yeah. Are you ready to see it? Here we go. Yeah, what you got? Oh! What do you think? How you like them? They're they're not bad. I actually like them way more than I thought I was going to. Is it soft? Yeah. Is it like soft it quality? Is, uh, not really. They're, they're clean. I mean, honestly, I I was feeling them when they first got leaked. Because I was like, all right, the Jordan 1, tired of the same colorways, tired of it, needs a little bit different. And I gave it a shot. Now, I'd like to see, like, there was someone that posted like a Chicago one. Oh yeah, I saw I that. Have seen that? Like some editor did like a kind of like an edit on a Chicago. Those look incredible. They look crazy. But I mean, 
I mean, we need something a little bit different. I mean, they're not that bad. I think no, they're, they're pretty not. cool. I hate being that person that says, like, having them in hand, they're better. They really are better in hand, though. Like, I mean, it's a really union. I mean, you know, the union, they always do decent job, but, like, yep. yeah, I think they're nice. I think they're nice. And you know what? Guess what? They're going to sell out. True. Everyone that hated them, they're still <laughs> going to sell out.